so my gosh, I love you guys so much. There's no words, really. No words. I'm so honored. Oh my gosh. Really? So, okay. This person I had to do, she's also a paying customer. I tell you guys, you think I'm joking? You don't get nothing free from me. Even family has to pay. This child's my second cousin. I made her pay twice. <laughs> Courtney Brown. I love you, Courtney. And you have been one of my favorite people. I, you know, it's funny. You never know who your first year customers are going to be. And I was so happy that, I, you know, Courtney uh, was one of those people. And one of the last messages I remember getting from Courtney, was she was like, I got my own place and I'm making dinner in my own home or something like that. And I'm like, ah, ah, I almost got a tear because that was like an issue for her. So let's talk about what, uh, look at Courtney's chart and it's actually progressed and did a lot more since I last looked at it. So it'll be interesting. I feel like for you, Court, um, you're in the midst of growth. And I talked about that before. Remember I said, as long as you can handle that anger, and I hope that you have been handling that internal anger that you have there, because it's really showing with the progress Mars sitting up inside of the 10th house. But I'm hoping what it's doing is it's coming through in activity, action in your career, and that you're pushing forward with your hopes, your dreams, and wishes MC progressed into the 11th house of hopes, dreams, and wishes, and Neptune on Pisces in the house of hopes, dreams, and wishes as well. But Pisces in the ambition house and the career sector is huge. Also, you've got quite a number of planets going through the ninth house. And this is telling me that this is a time for you to get your education right. Like if you are in training courses, great. If you're in school, great. If you're taking online courses, great. If, if you're just taking like, you know, Facebook courses, great. Whatever you can do to enhance your education is going to be what carries you through in the future. I really believe that. Now, right now, you've got a lot of planets in Capricorn affecting your life. It's a stellium of planets in Capricorn affecting your life. And even though you are a Sagittarius, the way your chart is set up, it's happening in the ninth house. I want to tell you, though, if this was a solar chart, this would all be happening in the second house of money. And you've got your AC in the second house of money, part of my tribe again. Look at this MC in 11th house as well. But look, you've got the Jupiter, the progressed sun, the progressed Mercury, Saturn, Pluto, all of these are in the ninth house. And Saturn and Pluto are almost conjunct the MC. This is a really important time for you, Courtney. Really. I've talked about this with several people. For some reason, I've been, several people have been drawn my direction to hear this message. And I'm going to tell you. These planets in the ninth house is education. But Saturn and Pluto crossing into your midheaven is major. First of all, Pluto hasn't been inside of your midheaven in 248 years. So there's no way you could say, oh, I felt this before because you would never felt nothing like this. Not in this lifetime. And Saturn has only been in this area, you know, every 28 years. I know you're only 30 something, so maybe once in your life when you were really little, Saturn crossed over this place. But now you're an adult, and now you can take advantage of what they call the pinnacle. I've been talking a lot about the pinnacle lately because I've been seeing a lot of charts with the pinnacle occurring. And it's a very specific time of life. And when Saturn crosses over the midheaven, into the pinnacle area. It is the, said to be the time of great success. If it's not your time of greatest success, it is the time that you're laying down the foundation for your greatest success. So it is a major time. Uh, Uranus sitting here uh, in the 12th house, it's there now, but it's going to be coming forward into the first house soon. 
after it begins to go forward. I really need you to prepare for that. But even now, and with Uranus transiting the 12th house, you might feel sometimes like you're going a little crazy. Like you're really, it's not all gelling, you know, like you might feel like, why is this happening? Uh, like crazy out of the blue things are occurring to you. So you really, or, or it seems like it. So I really hope that you are um, writing things down, keeping a journal of things, because I feel like it's, it's just like the interplay between uh, Neptune being in the 11th and Uranus being in the 12th, whereas Neptune is the natural ruler of the 12th and Uranus is the natural ruler of the 11th. Anyway, I can, I can geek out on that kind of stuff. Also, the North Node is in your third house of communication. So I hope whatever you're doing, you're communicating, you're talking, you're reaching out to your neighbors and in your community. You're, you know, walking around, riding bikes, taking uh, transit, you know, stuff like that. But also that you're to dealing with your, your like family, like um, extended family, you know, cousins, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, that kind of thing. One final thing is about this Juno that's sitting over here in the sixth house. You've got Juno there by birth, but I just wanted to see one degree. And, you know, technically, even though it's down here, one degree is really up here with this Venus. And so you're going to have Juno on your Venus in the sixth house. I think that if you really work at doing things well, you, if you, you can learn how to finesse your work. I just guess that's what I'm trying to say here because Juno conjunct Venus is like finessing the the work, the strategy of work that you're doing in such a way that hopefully it might help to build your career or help to uplift your career in some way. But um, I would definitely do that. I would come up with a plan, a strategy, a way to do the work that you've got in front of you. And I sense that there could be a lot of work, if not just education, but actual physical work because of the stellium of planets there in the sixth house. Anyway, I'm going to stop running my mouth, Courtney, because I could run on at the mouth talking to you about that chart forever. And I'm really grateful that you did reach out to me and that you had an opportunity to get your, your chart read because it was very, very interesting. And I was, I'm, I'm very honored to have had the opportunity to do that for you. Astrology, a look inside, featuring Capricorn Tigris, Western Intuitive Astrologer. Astrology, a look inside.